Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Wu. Welcome back to YYPS Olympic Series. This week, PE department will also collaborate with VA department. In this video, I'm going to talk about how can we involve in the Olympic Games with visual arts. In each Olympic game, many people are involved. Let's talk about some of the stakeholders. As a mega sport event, of course there are athletes in Olympic Games. In average, about 3,000 athletes compete in each Winter Olympic Game, and over 11,000 athletes in each Summer Olympic Game. By the way, there is an Easter egg here. Try to find it out and comment down below. In competitions, there will be officials such as referees, umpires, and judges. Media is also very important in an Olympic game, including journalists, reporters, photographers, cameramen, broadcast producers, and etc. Besides these, there are still many kinds of people involved in the Olympic Games. Do you have any more idea? Submit your answer in Google Forms. You may find the link in the description box down below. If you can afford the cost, you can be one of the on-site spectators. Some people even support their countries by wearing costumes and makeups. It looks like a party there. If you don't feel like being in crowd, you can be a TV viewer and watch the Olympic Games on TV. There is another way, providing you the opportunity to actually involve in the Olympic Games. You can get some hints from today's topic. It is related to visual art. Each Olympic Games has its own Olympic emblem and mascot. They are the reflection of the host country's cultures and values. Before the organizing committee of the Olympic Games or the National Olympic Committee propose the final designs, they will usually organize some design competitions and try to get some inspirations or ideas from the public. Let's look at some examples of Olympic emblems starting with Sydney Olympics 2000. The emblem represents the figure of an athlete. The head of the athlete is the sun and the four limbs are boomerangs. They represent the Australian original inhabitants. The top of the emblem is a trail of smoke from an Olympic torch. It represents the silhouette of Sydney Opera House. The 2004 Olympic Games emblem is a wreath made from an olive tree branch or cottonwoods. The emblem is a reference to the ancient Olympic Games, where the Cottonus was the official award of Olympic champions. In addition, the olive was the sacred tree of Athens. The colors of the emblem symbolize the shade of white and blue found in the Greek countryside. The official emblem of Beijing Olympics 2008 combines the Chinese seal and the art of calligraphy with sporting features transforming the elements into a human figure running forward and embracing triumph. The figure resembles the Chinese character Jin, which stands for Beijing, the name of the whole city. The color of the artwork represents the Chinese culture, because red is famously popular in relation to anything Chinese and is widely used during festivals and important events. This is the emblem of London Olympics 2012. It is a representation of the number 2012, with the Olympic rings embedded within the zero. Instead of one single design, it came out in a series in different colors. The concept behind this design was to make it an edgy and youthful emblem that reflects the energy of both the city and the Olympic Games. The Rio 2016 Olympics emblem is the first 3D emblem in the Olympic history. 
the three dancing people spell the word Rio. And the emblem also references the shape of Sugarloaf Mountain. About the colors used in the emblem. Green represents the forest in Brazil. Blue represents the sea. And yellow symbolizes the sun and the people's warm nature. The official 2020 Olympics logo is comprised of indigo blue checkered patterns. The traditional color represents elegance and sophistication of Japan. The checkered pattern itself symbolizes different countries, ways of thinking, coinciding Olympics idea of being a platform that promotes diversity. Check out the tutorial videos prepared by the VA department. Practice your skills. Join some design contests. Maybe someday you will be the designer of the Olympic emblems.